I followed the masters. I had the experience. I assisted a lot of uh, conferences, PowerPoint presentations. I study to get degrees, medicine, psychotherapy, psychology, PhD, behavioral studies. If I have to think what was the most important for the transformation of consciousness. And I was thinking, what was the important, the most for my self-realization, for the transformation of consciousness, I decided to start this inquiry, ask for the people, what was the most important in your experience for your self-realization, transformation of consciousness, for the shift to me, thinking back on my life, I would say that the most important surely was the love, but yes, the love. Who couldn't say love as most important? Which kind of love? I would say the love of women, the love of the mate of your life, the half of your life. I was so lucky, twice the chance to walk my path with an angel beside me. The love, certainly. But if we have to think, what make you so lucky to have the love, to share love, to feel love, and to be loved with and by someone else? The karma, the luckiness, or what? So I would say to be in the right place, to do the right thing, to be at the appointment. And what could make this happen? I would say to follow the inner master, to follow that voice, that whisper inside you, and not to do anything else, but follow it, to meet and to follow the inner master. How do this flowing, flowing, letting go, let it be as Mother Mary say to me, whispering word of wisdom, let it be, let it flow. What let it flow? Be in contact with the voice, with the inner self. Feel, understand what it is. The felt sense of the self, the true nature and follow it and let everything behind. So trust, we could say, trust in that voice, trust in life, trust, trust in the inner master. And what I need, what I needed, to follow the inner master, the intent, the intent to stay on the path, the intent to follow the path. That is not a goal, that is not strategy, the sort of prayer, the intent is integral. All your bodies 
should express the intent to follow the self, the inner master. And of course, expand your ordinary state of consciousness. Open your mind to get dimensions beyond the mind and to see beyond, beyond the veil and to see and to reach the transpersonal realms, archetypes, subtleties, world, insight, and let it be, and let you be driven by these forces, the spiritual forces, the transpersonal forces of the self, that's all, I guess.